Beloved intercessors, I have good news for all those who are, have been throughout this week putting their lives in order before God with the help of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit, this is a good news, the Spirit brings control to preserve the order. The Spirit brings government. The Spirit, once He illuminates and once He brings purpose in your areas of chaos, then the Holy Spirit puts you in authority and in government over the areas of your life that used to be empty or in disorder. The Bible says in Genesis 1.26, God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. In other words, after God brought order, creation, then He put humans in control and in government. And the same thing God wants to do in our lives. In the areas that were out of control, the Holy Spirit comes. He delivers us from any addiction, any, any area of dishonesty. He purifies us. He sanctifies us. But then He puts us in charge. He, put, he gives us authority and government over that area so that we don't let it become uncontrolled Again, it says in verse 28, Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish of the sea, the birth of the sky, and the animals that scurry along the ground. Here is again that concept of authority that God gives us. He is the creator. He is the one that brings order and productivity and meaning to our lives. But then he gives us authority against our sin, against our sinful ways of doing things, against our impulses and carnal impulses, and against our disorderly character. He helped us. He puts us in charge so that we can truly govern with the Holy Spirit. And so, my friend, is there any area of uncontrol in your life? Declare today, as you have already asked the Holy Spirit to move over that area, and the Holy Spirit is bringing order. And now you say, Holy Spirit, I want to partner with you, and I want to preserve that order in my life, in my business, in my ministry, in every aspect of my life. In Jesus we declare this. Amen and amen.